Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. Well, it's kind of paint pouring. It's like a mini paint pour. Um, I got this idea from uh, watching that video where they make that little baby unicorn cake. And it was just so entertaining, I thought that it'd be really fun to give it a try with uh, paint pouring. So, I crafted this kind of a little arena thing. And it actually took me like four hours to make it. Um, and I took pictures of the process. You can uh, see the pictures on my website. And I ended up painting really late at night. Um, it, was, it was about an hour session and I cut a whole bunch out. Because you can see that there was a whole bunch of trial and error. And I actually switched out my little tray to a bigger tray. And I finally got uh, that one that, that I liked. It kind of resembled my ribbons, so I was happy with that. That was after like 15 tries, so I decided that that one was going to have to stay because it most resembled uh, the ribbons that I usually make. And then for my second one, I do three of these. I kind of just started playing with the spinner a bit. Um, I discovered with his, such a tiny little Lazy Susan thing that I really get a lot of momentum and I can really play with the background a lot. So that was a lot of fun. I actually immediately fell in love with that black background there. And I was actually really nervous about putting my little ribbon on because, well, my uh, <laughs> success rate was about 1% at this point and I had been... I, doing it for like probably about 30 minutes and so that was a lot of mistakes so I really didn't want to mess up this background because it just it looked really cool. Unfortunately the ribbon wasn't all that I had hoped it to be uh, but it wasn't bad so I decided that maybe I could put another little ribbon on and be happy with it and I managed to do so. And actually the upswing um, produced this like little flower thing that I really liked. So I decided to keep this one as well. So you can see it kind of looks like a flower, which is cool. Uh, so the last painting of this video uh, was a big struggle for me. Um, it was past midnight, which is like way later than I usually stay up. Um, so I think I was getting pretty tired at this point. And I was having a hard time uh, getting something that I liked a lot. And I was also struggling with uh, deciding whether or not I wanted to keep a, just a white background or kind of had a, a varied background. Um, I'm still undecided this morning whether or not um, I like the colored background or just the white one. Um, Regardless, uh, the background that I produced right here, I really, really loved a lot. And I so wanted to get a good ribbon on it. Um, it was just, it was such a great little background. Um, but alas, the pouring gods were not with me. And I did a terrible little ribbon and I had to scrape it off and start again. Um, which was pretty annoying. And actually, the rest of the backgrounds I wasn't super enthralled with. Um, that one, it just kind of looked forced. I tried to recreate the first background that I did, but it, it wasn't working out. Um, and also, the ribbon that I end up putting on top of this was not a good ribbon either. I, it kind of just uh, slooped out there. I think I put too much paint in my little tray thing. And at this point, I was thinking that my little um, Lazy Susan that I crafted was wobbling too much. I think that I've got to change something up with that, too. Maybe get some real ball bearings or something. Um, this background I actually really liked, though, um, which surprised me. Because, like, the red and the green, I wouldn't have thought I liked. But it kind of, um, in real life, it has this really cool effect. And I switched over to my smaller tray and it got some really thin little ribbons. Anyways, that's about it for my little playtime with my mini pendulum. Um, I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did uh, playing with it. Um, so yeah. 
Thanks for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Bye.